Hello everybody, what's up? My name is Pratchon and today we are going to be playing some... Well, not playing, talking about BTD6. Okay, so, if you have not already seen, BTD6 is going to get a co-op mode sometime this year, hopefully. Hopefully this month, because that would be, like, the coolest thing ever. But if we don't, eh, it would be worth the wait. So... In this video, I'm going to talk about things that I hope we get with the BTD6 co-op. So the first thing that I would love, which actually is going to happen, is for everybody to be able to choose their own hero. So that way, if somebody puts down the hero, you're not forced to not be able to use a hero. Everybody can choose their own hero, which is great. The next thing that I would love to see is everybody to have the same eco. Now, you, well, money. You Now, you might be thinking, it's the stupidest thing in the world. Why would you ever want that? Well, just think about this. If you are in a four-player co-op, and two players are focused on just farming since they won't be able to get pops, the other two will have tons of money and will be able to just put down the best defense in the world. So, you'll never just be forced to just sit there and just wait for money in order to put down your big one, the big one mortar. Or just wait to get your perma spikes. So that way nothing can get through. So you won't be forced to just wait and share all of your money with everybody. As long as you have at least one person that's focused on farming. Now the only hard part is just starting the farming. Once you get some people with some instas that want to use their instas. Then you're just going to be in one heck of a time. Because then they're not going to have to spend any money to just get some eco. Now, you might be noticing on the screen that I'm doing a regen farm. Well, that's just because this is just... I literally just did this while I was just riding in a vehicle to go get some Chick-fil-A. So, yeah. The next thing that I want to talk to you guys about is something that I actually really hope that we get. I want everybody to be able to use a fifth tier. Okay, so you might be a little bit confused, so let me just talk about it. So, let's say that you're playing with your friends Billy, Timmy, Luke, and Jonathan. So let's say Luke puts down a Grandmaster Ninja. I want anybody else that wants to put down a Grandmaster Ninja to be able to put down a Grandmaster Ninja. And not just, like, hope that Luke didn't put down the Grandmaster Ninja. Because now, well, that would actually be really bad. Because if somebody hides something like a Cripple Moab in the corner, and nobody can see it, well then they're not going to know that they can't afford a Cripple Moab, and, or not be able to put down a Cripple Moab and just waste their money on a main Moab. So hopefully everybody will be able to put down their own 5th tier. Now you might be thinking, wait a minute, what if three people went for farming and everybody put down a true sun god well simple just don't put free play in i mean you can for like um matches with your friends that would be fun but other than that don't do it on like people you don't know because then what if somebody wants to just not go into free play they just wanted to get some monkey money then everybody else is going to want to play free play and somebody's going to leave, therefore effectively killing it. So you're just going to have to sit and wait. And hope that absolutely nobody just... What am I saying here? I don't even know. You, you'll, you'll, you will only be able to play free play with your friends in your own custom room. Yeah. Alright, so the something else that I would want to talk to you guys about is an update to it. Now, if you did not see in the trailer that in the possible game modes for long matches, Chimps Mode was not available. I feel like that Chimps Mode should be able to be played. Because, I mean, it would be so much fun to play Hashtag Ouch with four other people and complete Chimps Mode. Now... It, you don't have to get the rewards and medals for it. I guess that's why they didn't put Chimps Mode in, because they didn't want beginner players to just get carried by everybody and just beat Chimps Mode, even though they haven't even beaten Hard Mode. Well, 
I feel like you should only get the medal if you've played up to that point. So let's say that you beat hard mode, you beat alternate balloon rounds, and you even beat impoppable. Well then, you should be able to just get the, the medal. Just think of playing hashtag ouch with chimps with all of your friends. It'd be so much fun. But sadly, we don't have that. At least not for now. Let's hope that we do get it because that would just be so much fun to play hashtag ouch on chimps. Just, just think about that. You could have somebody dealing with snipers and such. However, they would have... Honestly, everybody can just... That would actually be really difficult. Because you have 650. Somebody's not going to be able to put down a dart bunkie. Which sucks. So I guess start off with $850. I guess. And whoever has the most... Or just like combined everybody's monkey knowledge... For stuff like Impoppable. Because then... Somebody is not going to have absolutely no monkey knowledge. And somebody is just going to have all of it. Just combine them and everybody now has all the monkey knowledge unlocked. Just for that round. Because I don't want somebody to just have an unfair advantage. If they have all the monkey knowledge. And then somebody just comes up who's just like start, just now started playing the game. And just unlocked every upgrade for every tower. That would just be unfair. Because somebody would be able to put down a sun avatar that can't pop purples. And somebody can put down a sun avatar that can't pop purples. So just combined everybody's monkey knowledge and everything up to that point. So that way everybody has a fair advantage. And the next thing I would want to talk about is only be able to put down things like tech bots, farmers, instas pontoons and lakes but you have an infinite amount of them so that way somebody's not going to have to waste their insta so if you will accept instas instas will be used however somebody's not going to have to waste their farmer and you'll have an infinite amount of farmers now why did i say limit it limit it to instas tech bots and farmers well, because if you add infinite of all powers, unless you remove the, ca the cash drop and spikes, cash drop, you could just have infinite money, and spikes, you would never have to put anything down. So, yeah. Just put down, f just give unlimited farmers, pontoons, pools, and tech bots, and not instas, just have normal amount of instas, then you'll be fine. The only thing you'd be able to have an advantage for is instas, because somebody can have an instant 302 sun god, and somebody can have a 001 spike factory, that, that would just be horrible, or even dart monkey, and somebody could just have like an instant um, support chinook, or even whatever the heck the fifth tier of it is, special poperations. So, yeah, that'd be the only thing that you'd be able to have an advantage in. So, now what I would just like to think of is some things that could be changed if they are not in. So, let's say that in that for every person, they all have every upgrade and tower unlocked. So that way, somebody who's just now starting out in the game, who doesn't have every tower unlocked, can play the game, or just like lock it until every tower's upgrade is unlocked. That would be fine. So I'd probably say like, about level, what level do you get everything? I'd probably say like level 50, like star, that's what your star level is. That would be the only way you could actually get everything so yeah you just limit it until you have every single upgrade and probably say at least one expert map beaten 
on easier hard mode. I'd probably say hard mode. But now you're just going to want to honestly just play the game till you're about probably level 70 or 100. I'm level 112, I think. Maybe 111. I don't know. I'm somewhere in the 110s and something. I don't know. But probably about up to that round is when I would start playing it. Maybe even 100. Just because at that point you should have everything unlocked. And if you don't, something's wrong with you. Because you need to unlock everything so that way you can try every strategy. Because you never know. You could have, you could not have the Kylie Ring unlocked. And to be like, I'm never going to need to use this. And then like the best next strategy is to use the Kylie Rings. Y you never know. They could get extremely buffed. And it would just not be good. So, yeah, other than that, that's about all that I would want to talk to, to you guys about. So, now I would just, well, that's all I would want to talk about for features. Something that I would love to see is everybody put down a true sun god and a maxful sun god. So, yeah, everybody's going to need to go hardcore on farming. And, you know, maybe... For those towers that give you, like, money for abilities. Maybe limit that to being one, to one person using it. And everybody has to, like, confirm that they want to use that ability. Because it would just absolutely suck if somebody... Now, wait, wait a minute. You guys see that? This is like completely off topic, but just look at this. I was just playing this. This is just playing this game, just trying to get some, you know, money. Just trying to get a max vengeful, vengeful sun god, and then this happened. I I I don't know. There was so much on screen that eventually my phone crashed, and the so did the recording software. But yeah, I'm just gonna leave it at this. Hopefully, you guys agree with my opinions, and if you don't. Comment down, comment your opinions down below, so that way Ninja Kiwi can potentially read it and make some changes. So, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Let me just find the recording thing and see you guys later. Bye.